And as, as unprecedented and as impossible as this might seem, we've done this before. And by the way, the Chinese Communist Party, what do they care about more than anything else in the world? Surviving. Surviving and control. Yeah. Control as a means to survive. Yeah. So it's, they, they don't want uncontrollable AI any more than we would. And as, as unprecedented and as impossible as this might seem, we've done this before. In the 1980s, there was a different technology, chemical technology, called CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. And it was embedded in aerosols like hairsprays and deodorant and things like that. And there was this sort of corporate race where everyone was releasing these products and you know, using it for refrigerants and using it for hairsprays. And it was creating this collective problem of um, the ozone hole in the atmosphere. And once there was scientific clarity that that ozone hole would cause skin cancers, cataracts, and sort of screw up biological life on planet Earth, we had that scientific clarity and we created the Montreal Protocol. 195 countries signed on to that protocol. And the countries then regulated their private companies inside those countries to say we need to phase out that technology and phase in a different replacement that would not cause the ozone hole. And in the course of um, the last 20 years, we have basically completely reversed that problem. I think it'll completely reverse by 2050 or something like that. And that's an example where humanity can coordinate when we have clarity. AI is even harder because AI pumps not just economic growth, but scientific, technological, and military advantages. And so it will be the hardest coordination challenge that we will ever face. But if we don't face it, if we don't make some kind of choice, it will end in tragedy. 